Hey there, and welcome to today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread. Our reading titled, Serving for God's Sake, was written by Leslie Coe. When England's Queen Elizabeth passed away in September of 2022, thousands of soldiers were deployed to march in the funeral procession. Their individual roles must have been almost unnoticeable in the large crowd, but many saw it as the greatest honor. One soldier said, It was an opportunity to do our last duty for Her Majesty. For him, it was not what he did, but whom he was doing it for that made it an important job. In the book of Numbers, the Levites, assigned to take care of the tabernacle furnishings, had a similar aim. Unlike the priests, the Gershonites, Kohathites, and Merarites were assigned seemingly mundane tasks, cleaning the furniture, lampstands, curtains, posts, tent pegs, and ropes. Yet their jobs were specifically assigned by God, constituted doing the work of the tabernacle, and are recorded in the Bible for posterity. What an encouraging thought! Today, what many of us do at work, at home, or in church may seem insignificant to a world that values titles and salaries, but God sees it differently. If we work and serve for His sake, seeking excellence and doing so for His honor, even in the smallest task, then our work is important because we're serving our great God. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Numbers chapter 3, verses 5 through 9. The Lord said to Moses, Bring the tribe of Levi and present them to Aaron the priest to assist him. They are to perform duties for him and for the whole community at the tent of meeting by doing the work of the tabernacle. They are to take care of all the furnishings of the tent of meeting, fulfilling the obligations of the Israelites by doing the work of the tabernacle. Give the Levites to Aaron and his sons. They are the Israelites who are to be given wholly to him. Let's pray. Father, thank you for giving us this opportunity to serve you. Help us to be faithful with the talents and the strengths that you've given us. Thank you, Lord. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for listening today. I'm Stephen Tabor, and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.